Schools have a special half day schedule so teachers can attend a rally and march to the state capitol later this afternoon. Lisa Balick is live in Salem outside Roberts High School. And Lisa, why did the Salem Kaiser District decide to do a half day? Well, they tell me that there are so many kids in need of the free breakfast and lunch programs. That's one reason. Also, the classified staff would not get paid if there wasn't school today. So that's why they're having the half day. Now, they are expecting about more than 4,000 people to gather. That's about how many they had last in February. They're going to gather and march at the state capitol back in February like they did. But now lawmakers are on the verge of approving millions more for education and a business tax to raise more money for education or possibly sending that tax to the voters for approval. So there should be even more people gathering here today. Here at Roberts High School, an alternative public high school for students have been expelled. Teachers here tell me the need for more funding for the classrooms is great. In my building, uh, drug and alcohol counselors, mental health. I think in some of our other buildings, it would be access to social emotional learning. It would be smaller classes, um, maybe more instructional aid, more adults in a room to help um, students with what they need. Now, teachers want parents and other education supporters to call their lawmakers to urge them to approve the funding increase. Now, here in Salem, teachers and their supporters will gather at 1.30 at Riverfront Park. They will have a rally and then march to the state capitol to be there at about 3 o'clock and then march to the streets. We will keep you posted at COIN.com throughout the day, so stay with COIN 6 News. Live in Salem, Lisa Bailick, COIN 6 News. Thank you very much, Lisa.